Hey, good morning, everybody. It's Friday with Father. A little change today, not by the fireside, but just a, a Friday with me. And standing here next to these beautiful roses that uh, when the Sisters of Charity of Nazareth lived here in the uh, original rectory, uh, Sister Dorothy just poured her heart and soul and so much love into these beautiful roses. And in the midst of everything today, I thought a little message by something very, very beautiful. So this weekend, we're gonna be celebrating the Ascension of the Lord. And so uh, as we turn to the scriptures today in Acts of the Apostles, just a little excerpt. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem throughout Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. And when he had said this, as they were looking on, he was lifted up and a cloud took him from their sight. While they were looking intently at the sky as he was going, suddenly two men dressed in white garments stood beside them. They said to him, men of Galilee, why are you standing there looking up at the sky? This Jesus who has been taken up from you into heaven will return in the same way as you have seen him going into heaven. The word of the Lord, thanks be to God. And we continue our, our journey together, uh, a lot of changes, and yet a lot remains the same. So uh, as we gather this, this, this weekend, you know, we continue to pray as things slowly are lifted around us and how appropriate maybe we, we celebrate uh, the ascension of the Lord at the same time. Gently reminded what's most important as people of faith. Uh, I'm reminded too, ladies and gentlemen, to take everything seriously. Uh, in, in, in Texas, for example, a parish in Houston, you know, of course, Texas started opening up in early May. Uh, a parish in Houston, five of the parish leadership have contracted the coronavirus and the parish priest has died. So please take it serious. Uh, remember, it's the virus is out there. You know, if you have if you're over the age of 65, I would even say if you're over the age of 60, think twice about all these things. Uh, if you have a compromised immune system, again, think about these things. And we continue to move forward. Um, the Archbishop has lifted the obligation of attending Sunday Mass. So think and pray uh, as we start to open up the church. So let us continue to pray for one another. Remember the most uh, compromised in our society, the most vulnerable, uh, not only pray for them, but act on their behalf. God bless you and have a great weekend.